cream? Um, cornrush. And how long has he been uh, part of the program? He was down there when we came, so I'm going to say eight years ago. And who's, who's, who are the primary writers of them right now? I can't tell you that. But this bill is Okay. So he doesn't have his own writer. He has many no. writers. act like I was raising a barn. <laughs> Some people weren't so lucky to be raised in a barn. Like, oh, I know, right? Exactly. Do you want to come over? We can read some stuff. Okay. So, um, he said that, you know, he had a lot to say and that, uh, you know, one of the things, the biggest thing about this guy is, I, I feel like he has, like, such a giant heart that he actually takes on a lot of stuff. So one of the things we want to tap on is um, taking on everybody's stuff. And I don't, I don't think he normally. One of the reasons that I think he does take on people's stuff is that um, when he came to the program, how long has he been with the program? Do you know? I'm, guessing, I'm guessing eight or nine years. But he, can I tell you his history at this point? Yeah, I mean, he was a prisoner. So he was a prisoner. Actually, at one point it felt like, you know, I hate using this word, I hate this word, but the word, some negativity. And because I don't really, I think that there's, I think negativity is a stupid word because it kind of all encompasses, yeah. but there, I will get to some specific stuff that we're going to talk about. But in the meantime, um, and he says that he's taken on a world of hurt, and that he actually would really like to partner up with someone, and that because of that heart of gold, kind of partners up with each person, but there's a certain point that he's got a real work ethic, and because of that work ethic, he doesn't feel like it, he's helping anyone right now, and so because he can't help anybody, and he's not ever, so when he gets set up, he needs to be set up that you're going to help this person, and then, you know, let me count the ways, because right now it just feels like there's just kind of a general loss of, of purpose and respect, and it's not on your part, but just that it's, it's part of a machine at this point, and I know that you don't mean to do that, but he's, he just needs a little, like, like this time off, and if we can kind of start clearing through the EFT pathing and emotional freedom technique, um, we can start to get, strip away some of the specifics of what it is he took on, and then, um, get to what it is he needs. And the sense I get is that he just needs to, like, moment by moment, be told, 
this is how you're helping someone. And if I could help you in this way, we could do this and this and this and this. And I would take you home in a minute. Oh, well, he would like, if I could stop him in the car. You, you can see him. He's telling you that you get it. Yeah. And thank you. Yeah. So, um, and then I want to talk about physically. I feel like at some point he may have had some sort of a, um, an accident where this is old. But as a result, when he gets tense, which he gets tense because he can't help someone, I feel like his left shoulder drops, his left neck is sore, his left cock has had, like, it's a little sticky. I feel like there's a little something in the left hole. His throat, um, has he ever had any allergies? He's got a uh, okay. okay. he can't be on grass. Okay. He had that allergy, yeah. and that's fine. Yeah. So he can't be on grass. So he's, yeah. So that definitely is. Yeah. And then the sacrum, I feel like it's a little bit twisted, and I'll do a little bit of minor body work. Um, and so because of the sacrum, it, it feels like he's on his left hind, he's on his heel more, on his right hind, he's on his toe more, and it pushes the right hip forward. So it's, it's just a little one, but it won't really take much to put that back yeah. um, So, but more than anything, that's I think why you were saying he wants balanced riders, because I think that he's a little unbalanced, and again, I can't help. I'm, I'm screwed up. Yeah. When Phil, Phil and Elizabeth were here, did they do his teeth as well? No. He's not, he's not here. Oh, he's, he's not, he's off, he's off campus. He's, okay. yeah, he's living in other program. Okay, okay, because it would be good whenever Phil and Elizabeth, I <laughs> know, oh, it would be good whenever Phil and Elizabeth come back through to have his teeth done, because when things are so one-sided like that as well, I'm just timing in a little thought here, yeah. um, they can help with that, because yeah. the TMJs might be off as well. So if they can get him back in balance in his occlusion, then that w that's just another cool thing in the in the puzzle. And I don't know when Phil and Elizabeth are coming back through here. I just said that. August or September. Listen, okay, cool. Well then, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can't get Phil. Maybe at that time, try and get all the plants to converge to get Shiloh here to, you know, have them. Do, they do natural balance dentistry. They don't, you know, they don't yeah. do that stuff. But they'll get the occlusion. In there. I'm just thinking that's just another cool thing in the yeah, puzzle. Yeah, definitely. So, um, and then, how is his saddle? They, they ride in many saddles, and we try very hard to make sure they all fit, but there's no guarantee. It's more that the riders are off balance. Hmm? I'm just telling you. Okay. But each program has their own bond manager and their own decision. Oh, about saddles? A about everything, about the care of the horse and everything. Okay. okay. And so, I can't answer all your questions. Okay, so he's in a different, like, yeah. this horse so is in a different program generally? Okay. It's part of our program. But we have two sides. Two sides. I see. Oh, is he in like the Richardson one or the? In, 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 in Richmond. Richmond. In Richmond. Okay. Okay. So yeah, because if he's here, Boosie could make sure about the saddle being the right one. No, they've got pretty good people down there. Yeah. I would say it's more often it is the because of it's probably more often it's the riders. And if he's already hurting, if they're into this. It's nice to be heard. Exactly. I mean, 
his whole demeanor has changed. Yeah. That's, that's what I say with oh, she's good. Yeah. animal communication is the healing touch right there. Right? I know. Hello. I know. Sometimes it just helps to set your feet.
It's mm -hmm. funny, you can feel it. Yeah, I always, you know, I do it with a lot with people on the phone, and when I, I have to like just listen for nothing and know that like, you know, my, they're you checking know, out for yeah. a moment. Yeah. I'm going to start teaching EFT for animals. Really? Yeah. Are you in Houston? No, I'm in Seattle. But I teach it on well, the phone. Well, that's just not going to get her back. Well, I'm going to get her to, hopefully I'll get her out to bash off out to high court, and maybe we'll try and put some tapping in there.